Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Golden Reviewer Gaming Test. Now I finally got my hands on this beautiful Galaxy S21 Ultra. And it is the Exynos 2100 version you've all been waiting for. How does it perform when playing demanding games like Genshin Impact or PUBG Mobile or COD Mobile? I'm just as curious as you. So, and by the way, this silver edition of the device looks amazing in hand. I just can't stop appreciate the beauty of it. And this particular one I've got is the top spec model with 16 gigs of storage and 512 gigs of ROM. Without further ado, let's start testing it with Genshin Impact. Same as all my previous tests, I've set all the graphics settings to highest plus 60 FPS. The ambient temperature is kept at around 25 degrees. And by the way, the phone is actually elevated. There is a small box beneath it. So it's not directly contacting the table surface. This is for better heat dissipation. Actually, all my previous tests, I did this as well. I just uh, didn't mention it to you. Okay, let's start the test now. And right from the beginning, it's not looking very good for Exynos 2100. It seems that this device cannot even maintain 60 FPS from the beginning, even when the device itself is cold. It hovers somewhere around 50 FPS, 69, 68, and the power consumption is at around 6 watts, which is not that low actually. And now let's uh, fast forward the footage a little bit and see how it goes. Now we are about 10 minutes into the game and it's really not looking good. The FPS has already dropped to 30 to 40, which is already pretty laggy, I say. And the device battery temperature reaches uh, 42 degrees, which I think is actually the threshold Samsung has set for this device because I see more severe throttle once the, the temperature reached uh, 42. On the other hand, the power consumption is still not very low. It is still around 6 watt or 6, 5 watt. For such a low FPS or performance, I'd expect the, at least the power consumption should be low, right? Because uh, you, 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 you have a slower processor, you consume less power. That makes sense. But you can't consume a lot of power, but uh, cannot give a very good performance. And that's the problem. Now let's fast forward again uh, to the end of the test. So uh, for the later half of the test, the device uh, throttles a little bit more and basically the performance hovers around the 30 FPS, uh, which is actually very bad for a flagship SoC of 2021. But I do see the power consumption drops a little bit, maybe from 5, 6 watt to 4 to 5 watt uh, in the later half because of the throttling, I think. And now let's take a look at the overall result. Okay, so for the 20 minutes gaming session, the average FPS is only around 36 to 37. Mind you, this is actually uh, directly comparable to my previous tests because I control all the testing conditions. Uh, and they are all the same. So it will be a fair comparison. And actually, I've put a link to the previous video on the top left corner. You can just uh, check out that video as well. So you can compare the performance of Exynos 2100 to that of the Apple A14 and the Snapdragon 888 and also the Kirin 9000. But anyway, this does not look very good to me and uh, I don't know whether it's because of the chip itself is just not powerful enough or because the uh, device is too early and uh, still lacking optimization. But anyway, at this point in time, it's not a good performer at least for Genshin Impact. And if you are buying this device to play this game, uh, please don't. At least wait for more uh, updates or more tests, okay? Uh, for the power consumption, uh, because of the throttling, the power consumption is not extremely high. It's at around 5.1 watt, which is lower than what we've seen from the, the Kirin and the Snapdragon 888, right? 
but based on the awful performance, I think it's a bit pointless to even talk about power consumption. If you can't even run the game smoothly, then I don't really care uh, how efficient you are, right? Okay, so that's all for today's uh, Genshin Impact test, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more such content, like a uh, test of Exynos on other games like PUBG Mobile or COD Mobile, please subscribe to my channel. So see you next time.